Imagine being able to trace your ancestry back to a 10,000-year-old skeleton. Sounds like science fiction, right? Well, it's not. Welcome to the world of genetic genealogy. Genetic genealogy, as the name suggests, is the use of DNA testing to determine relationships between individuals, trace lineage, and ultimately, construct a genetic family tree. It's a fascinating blend of traditional genealogy and cutting-edge genetics, offering a deeper understanding of our ancestral roots. At the heart of genetic genealogy are four types of DNA, autosomal, Y-chromosomal, mitochondrial, and ancient. Each one plays a unique role in our genetic makeup and our ancestral stories. First, let's talk about autosomal DNA. This type of DNA comes from the 22 pairs of chromosomes that aren't related to our sex. It's a cocktail of genetic material from both parents, providing a broad view of our ancestry. Next up is Y-chromosomal DNA, known as Y-DNA. This is passed down from father to son tracing a direct paternal line. It's particularly handy for tracking surname lineage in cultures where surnames are traditionally passed from father to son. Then we have mitochondrial DNA, or mtDNA. This is inherited from our mothers and traces a direct maternal line. Both men and women carry mtDNA but only women pass it on, making it a powerful tool for investigating maternal ancestry. Lastly, we have ancient DNA. This is DNA extracted from the remains of long-dead organisms, often thousands of years old. It provides a direct link to our distant ancestors and the prehistoric world they inhabited. Together, these four types of DNA paint a detailed picture of our genetic heritage, allowing us to peer into the past in ways we never thought possible. But like any scientific field, genetic genealogy is not without its complications and controversies. Critics question its reliability, its limitations and the implications it has for our understanding of identity and heritage. While it sounds groundbreaking, genetic genealogy is not without its critics. Let's delve into the controversy. Autosomal DNA, the bulk of our genetic material, is a popular tool in genetic genealogy. But how reliable is it? This is the question that has sparked countless debates among genetic enthusiasts and experts alike. Autosomal DNA, which comprises about 90% of our DNA, is inherited equally from both parents. It's this very DNA that's tested in many ancestry DNA kits. While it can provide a wealth of information about our ancestral past, it's also subject to a fair share of criticism. The crux of the issue with autosomal DNA lies in its inherently complex nature. Every generation autosomal DNA undergoes a process called recombination, where the DNA from each parent is mixed together. This process reshuffles the genetic deck, making it increasingly difficult to trace back our lineage accurately the further back we go. Autosomal DNA recombines every generation, making it a tricky source for accurate ancestral information beyond five generations. This complicates the task of genealogists who wish to delve deeper into their family's history. Some critics argue that this limitation of autosomal DNA testing could lead to misinterpretations and inaccuracies. For instance, one could be led to believe they have a certain percentage of ancestry from a specific region, but in reality this could merely be a reflection of the mixed and recombined DNA from generations past. However, it's important to note that despite these criticisms, autosomal DNA testing remains a valuable tool in the field of genetic genealogy. It's a powerful resource when it comes to identifying recent relatives and mapping out close family connections. That said, the key to effectively using autosomal DNA in genealogical research lies in understanding its limitations and complexities. It's a tool that demands careful interpretation and a healthy dose of skepticism. Clearly, autosomal DNA is a complex part of the genetic genealogy puzzle. It's a piece that, when used correctly, can reveal fascinating insights about our genetic past, but when misunderstood, can lead us down a path of confusion. Why chromosomal DNA and mitochondrial DNA, they trace your paternal and maternal lineages respectively. Yet, they carry their own set of limitations. They're like a pair of binoculars that can see far into the distance but can't capture the full panorama of your genetic landscape. Let's start with Y chromosomal DNA. It's passed down from father to son virtually unchanged, allowing us to trace the paternal lineage back thousands of years. That's fascinating, isn't it? However, it's like reading a book with only one character, it misses the vast majority of your ancestors. It can't tell you about your father's mother or your father's mother's mother and so forth. Similarly, mitochondrial DNA, passed from mother to all her children but only carried forward by daughters, traces your direct maternal lineage. It's like a matriarchal thread weaving through time. But again, it's a single thread, missing all the other relatives that contribute to your genetic tapestry. 
These types of DNA can provide deep ancestral insights, but they overlook the vast majority of your ancestors. It's akin to trying to understand the plot of a novel by reading only one chapter. Sure, you get some information but much of the story is left untold. Furthermore, these DNA types can't pinpoint exact relationships or generations. They can suggest a common ancestor but can't tell you if that person is your sixth cousin or tenth cousin. They also can't give you a precise timeline, they can estimate a common ancestor lived thousands of years ago, but whether it was 5,000 or 7,000 years ago, they can't say for sure. So, while these DNA types can trace far back, they only represent a fraction of your genetic heritage. It's a fascinating journey into the past, but one that comes with its own limitations and caveats. Remember, every tool in genealogy, including DNA, is a double-edged sword, offering insights and challenges in equal measure. Ancient DNA can connect us to our ancestors from thousands of years ago, but how accurately? The realm of genetic genealogy has always been riddled with controversies, and the use of ancient DNA is no exception. Ancient DNA, genetic material extracted from the remains of our ancestors, is like a time capsule, offering us a glimpse into the past. However, the reliability of this technique has been called into question, sparking heated debates in the scientific community. One of the main criticisms is the risk of contamination. Ancient DNA samples are incredibly sensitive. They can be easily contaminated by modern DNA during extraction or analysis, leading to inaccurate results. Besides, ancient DNA degrades over time and the older the sample the more fragmented and difficult to analyze it becomes. This degradation can distort the genetic information, making it challenging to draw accurate conclusions about our ancestors and their genetic makeup. Moreover, the interpretation of ancient DNA data can be subjective and may vary among researchers. Without concrete guidelines or a standardized approach, different scientists may interpret the same data in vastly different ways. This lack of consensus adds another layer of uncertainty to the process. Despite these criticisms, the potential of ancient DNA in genetic genealogy cannot be overlooked. It has been instrumental in solving historical mysteries, tracing migration patterns, and unraveling the complexities of human evolution. However, as we delve deeper into the secrets of our past, it's essential to remember that ancient DNA is just one piece of the puzzle. It should be used in conjunction with other archaeological and anthropological evidence to paint a more comprehensive picture of our ancestry. In the end, while ancient DNA offers a promising avenue for exploration, it remains a contentious area in genetic genealogy, one that continues to fuel debates and challenge our understanding of the past. Ancient DNA a promising yet contentious area in genetic genealogy. Genetic genealogy, a fascinating field that promises to unravel our past, but is it as reliable as we'd like to believe? As we delve into the world of autosomal DNA, Y-chromosomal DNA, mitochondrial DNA, and ancient DNA, we're met with a tapestry of questions and controversies. Genealogy has always been a puzzle, a journey through time and space, However, when we add the complexity of genetics into the mix, we're faced with an intricate labyrinth of information. The technology and science behind genetic genealogy are undeniably remarkable, but they are not without their limitations. Autosomal DNA, for example, can provide us with a wealth of information about our ancestors, yet it only traces back a handful of generations before becoming unreliable. Why chromosomal and mitochondrial DNA while offering a deep dive into our paternal and maternal lines respectively, can't provide a full picture of our complex ancestry. Ancient DNA, while a powerful tool to study our distant past, is often subject to contamination and degradation. Even the databases that we rely on for genetic genealogy have their shortcomings. They are skewed towards certain populations, leaving others underrepresented. This can lead to a distorted view of our genetic history. Moreover, these databases are constantly evolving with new data meaning our genetic matches today might not be the same tomorrow. Genetic genealogy is a powerful tool, yes, but it's also a house of cards. It's a field in constant flux, shaped by the ever-evolving landscape of science, technology, and our understanding of history. As we journey through this labyrinth of genetic information we must remember to approach it with a healthy dose of skepticism and curiosity. We encourage you to consider these points and do your own research. After all, the pursuit of knowledge is a journey, not a destination. Genetic genealogy, a complex tapestry of science and history. What do you think? Share your thoughts in the comments below and keep the conversation going. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell to keep up with the latest content.